Hey everyone, welcome back to Math with the Math Mama. And today we're going to talk about exponent rules. But before we start our exponent rules, we're going to start with the definition of exponents. So, your definition of exponents. Okay. An exponent. An exponent, another word for that is power. Orders. The number of times a base is used as a factor. Now, I know we've just said a whole mouthful of mathematical words such as base, factor, uh, power, okay? These are words that you may not know what they mean. Factor refers to multiplication. This times this. This is a factor, and this is a factor. In other words, they're the pieces that are multiplying the actual numbers or letters or variables that are being used in that multiplication. Those are what factors are, okay? A base. Okay? The base is the number that is being taken to the exponent, or the other word for this is power. So therefore, this 3 to the 4th power means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. In other words, when I multiply that all together, this is equal to 81. So as you can see, when we're talking about exponents, we're talking about this power, the exponent, that tells you how many times the base is used as a factor in multiplication. So we have a whole bunch of rules that use these exponents. And I'm going to break this up into a number of different videos. So we are going to start, first of all, with what's called the product rule, okay? So let's look at the product rule. The product rule has two conditions. If those conditions are met, then there are certain actions that must be taken. Okay, so my first condition is number one, it must be multiplication. Okay, and the second condition is it must have the same base. Okay, if those two conditions are met, then do the following. Number one, keep the base the same. And number two, add the exponents. Okay, so there you have the basic product rule, the conditions, and what has to be done. So let's do an example. For example, 3 to the second power times 3 to the fourth power. 
this is equal to, well, let's see. First of all, is it multiplication? Yes, it is. Are the bases the same? Yes, they're both three. Since that meets the conditions, the next thing we do is keep the base and add the exponents, two plus four. So this is equal to three to the sixth power. You may wonder why that rule is there. Well, the rule is really nice because the rule is actually a shortcut for what is really happening with your definition of exponents. Remember, definition of an exponent says this is three to the second power, which is three times three, times three to the fourth power, which is three times three times three times three, and that makes three is the base, and it's used one, two, three, four, five, six times as a factor. So you see, whether you break it down by definition of exponent, or whether you use the product rule, you will get exactly the same answer because they are exactly the same thing. So that's what we're doing with the product rule, okay? So let's look at another one. Okay, x to the third times x to the fourth. Multiplication, keep the base because it is the same add the exponents, three plus four, which is seven. As you can see, this is pretty straightforward and it doesn't take lots of work to do this. Now let's make a more complex problem. Okay, we have six times x to the third times y to the second times three times x to the fourth times y to the fifth. Notice that we have, it's all multiplication and we have two numbers that are gonna be multiplied. So six times three is 18. You notice how we just multiply the numbers together because they don't have any exponents on them and the bases are not the same. So now we're gonna find the same base. Here is one same base, and this is the same base as that one. X and X, it's all multiplication. So we have X to the three plus four, which is seven. And now notice that we have Y here. Y is the same base, and we have exponents on it. So Y to the two plus five, which is seven. So this gives me an answer of x to the seventh, 18 times x to the seventh times y to the seventh. It's pretty straightforward. Now let's look at something else. What if I have two to the second power plus, oh, let's even do this one, times three to the second power. Now, can I apply the product rule to that one? Well, it must be multiplication. We have multiplication. But what about the second condition? It must have the same base. Two and three are not the same base. Therefore, we cannot apply the product rule. Instead, what we will have to do is actually work this out. Two to the second power is two times two, which is four times three to the second power, which is three times three, which is nine, and four times nine is 36. So you can still simplify it, but you cannot use the product rule. Let's try another one. Three to the third power plus three to the second power. Now let's look at that. Our base is the same, but it's addition, not multiplication. Therefore, you cannot use the product rule. And again, we will have to treat it like this, which is three times three times three, which is 27, plus three times three, which is nine, and 27 plus nine is 36. So as you can see, we cannot apply the product rule if we do not have a multiplication or if we do not have the same base. So those are the very key conditions to be able 
to apply your product rule.